Uh, what up, guys? Back to the next who episode. Done this? Maybe it was that man, the one who's running around Maybe in the sky. Maybe it's. I don't know wow, about you guys, but I'm absolutely convinced now that's this Mom's sink is shit. He's held that grudge for 15 years now, and he still thinks we killed her. That wow. makes sense. He's been stalking us from the shadows, learning exactly where and when Dad's will. You guys are lucky. Then he rigs this crossbow to fire while we're. You guys are not going to be able to have to deal with this He's sink it was aimed with at the no lips. No, that is because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fix it, but how do you know? Come see, Eero flew through the screen and into this room where it's sticking. He knows who it door. is. And look, there are a whole bunch of Ooh, holes all around it. Whoever rigged this crossbow practiced first, and they always aim for the wow. same spot. And I think I know the target. It went right by Yorkum's seat. Oh. <gasps> He was only saved by the fact that he spilled his coffee all over him. It made him duck. What a lucky time. old man! Yeah, thankfully, that just about settles it. But there's one problem. How would the killer have known who was going to take which seat? That's not so hard. What? Huh? Oh, here comes the baby, beautiful, the seat beautiful where mom. Yorkum sat was the farthest from the door. If you recall, back in the old days, this was typically the seat of honor ah. just at the table. So the target was Yorkum all along. It's tradition. So a young guy like you might not know it, but for an older man like Yorkum, well, let's just say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> you talk like I'm a hundred years old. You forget it wasn't all that long ago. The girls like you were chasing me. Ew. The old man did it himself. It would certainly bolster his kooky claims that somebody's been trying to kill him. Hmm. How kooky is it? I like it? cookies. I mean, we all saw the arrow aim for his skull, and he only dodged it because Conan yelled out. Get down! Uh, yeah. Um, Bibby, do you think that mysterious guy in disguise is behind I feel he's like, like he's gonna be like. Yeah, I believe it's a distinct possibility. Like that old man has done like some Pardon, messed up uh, shit. Not to interrupt, but shouldn't somebody press stop? You know, huh? I mean the stop button on the tape recorder. Shut up, weasel. Oh, good grief. It was recording the whole time. Shit, That's gonna come in clutch. Head? You didn't erase the whole tape, did you? Uh, uh, Moron! Oh, okay, okay. I see. All right. We're okay. <laughs> I recorded over the B side. The wills on oh, the A side. That That's would have been bad. The wills Are you down. sure? Maybe it was planned. This. Would you just play the stupid tape already? And you There's hear like moans. There, <laughs> let me rewind it, okay? We've got to find a way to figure out who that man in the disguise is, or we may never solve Marlena's murder. I know. But I already have a good idea who rigged that crossbow. Me too. Huh? Almost positive. Almost positive. What? Do you think that crossbow was set up by someone in this room? Yeah. Well, aren't you going to tell your mother who this person <laughs> is? It's still early. There are too many loose ends here. I can't just make wild accusations, Mom. How about <laughs> you? Drop it. Oh, I see. Huh. Yes, Detective Conan's too smart to communicate with I love you. Huh. Mm, calm down, I'll tell you the <laughs> time is right. I'm guessing... Detective Mangum, sir. Hmm? We've got some new evidence. A cassette tape that was left in the bath furnace outside. I'm, I think it's Are the daughter. Okay? Alright, listen up. I'm gonna step out. Don't try to escape, cause security's air You know what, I'm gonna go... Hey, where are Vivian and her boy anyway? I think they've just gone outside. What's the big idea, you two? This is a crime scene, yeah. not a resort. <laughs> so tell me exactly where you found the tape. Uh, it was right here between the logs. Know what's weird? Heidi never noticed that cassette, even though she was with these logs for hours last night. Oh, sir, I was meaning to come no. get you. Crime lab Where's your eyes? strange. Something strange? Marleda no, Zanderbilt's no. blood and fingerprints were both found on the murder weapon, but strangely, just hers and no one else's. But that's not the weird part. The fingerprints on the handle seem to point outwards. As so he, she was trying to fight off the attacker. Uh, outwards? Yes, sir. If she were to stab herself, or for that matter, unconsciously grab the hilt after being stabbed, like this. it should be in reverse. Well, that looks so wrong. <laughs> Maybe the killer tried to make it look like a suicide and didn't consider which way the print should be facing. I should have edited oh, yeah. that out. And another thing. We also contacted the Zalewski Hotel, the one where they held the wedding reception that Mrs. Zanderbilt had attended. What did that uncover? Nothing, really. Mrs. Zanderbilt was definitely there, but it seems that no one's really clear as to where she left. I remember Heidi saying something rather strange Yeah, beautiful. That. When Marlena called, she said she'd be back after 11, but she got back... Maybe she was lying? 
Maybe she could have changed her mind, but it always struck me as odd. Ah! Uh. Wait a sec. If you use this door, you come out to the furnace from the back. And this furnace, it's very close to the well that Marlena's dead body yeah. was Yeah. Which means that the tape, that can't be right. Can it? Oh, right. Hey, look, I'm a little rusty, all right? We need to use the tape recorder so we can I can't figure tape. this out. I'm trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't get my mojo back. You know those things will kill you, right? I can't remember, Jimmy. The man in the sunglasses. Isn't this the door where you claimed to Yeah, he's a stand? very freaking addicted It is. And smoker. that's the exact same door that Heidi said she saw him run through, too. Wait, addicted smoker? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Westerfields. I think What's she knows. Up? Do you think you found some important evidence? No, nothing. Huh? What? While they're keeping hey, things Did you get a little more from lost? each other? Well, imagine <laughs> that. It seems the husband's <laughs> losing his patience with us again. If you're hiding something, that's mother, cute. The sound. It's like it was recorded live at the party or something. And you're certain you found this out by the bathhouse? Yes. Right. Wait a minute. The tape, the cell phone, and her the face, car, the case, the fact that she called an hour before she was killed. I finally I I don't. understand it. Hey, mom. I'd like for you to do a Oh, for I know me. what. I'm going to reconstruct the crime. I'll replicate your voice with my voice changer. I'd like for you to lip sync. No <laughs> way. <gasps> Forget about it. You wouldn't tell me what I wanted to know back then. So I'm not about to do you any favors. I respect now. that. <laughs> do it yourself. I'm sure they think a little kid cop is just a darling. Uh, but I can't do that. Sounds like uh, a Use your thing. Problem. Now, when I said that, never mind. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. All right. The old-fashioned way. you've all been waiting for has finally I, arrived. The I hope will. he... I hope... No. No. Why him? I don't want him to get any credit. Said, let's put the will on hold for a treat. As in, it'll be a treat for us right after I, don't like I say this. something. <laughs> and don't worry. You have my assurance that what I have to say is a real treat in itself. For some reason, I really don't like it. I'll start with the second crime. The attempt on Uncle Yorkham. The old crossbow in the cabinet gag. But that was my uncle coming to get revenge. The guy I hope he doesn't sky. do this with him That seemed too like often. a good theory, Olaf. But someone incriminated themselves before that already. Incriminated oh, really? themselves? Yeah. You want to hear it? We've got a recording. Wait, right what? Here, recorded by accident on the B side of the tape. Play Beef back, bitch. Oh, goodness. Hello. Uh, all right. Yeah, can you what play you already? <laughs> Get down! I heard a groan. Oh, my gosh. What was that? It, it was an arrow. It just flew out of that cabinet. Oh. I didn't hear anything. Well, it I was that bitch. But I didn't get an opportunity to I told you exactly what had flown by. It went so fast. Once it left the tea cabinet, the item was in the air for I a told split you. second before it went through the screen and disappeared. Revenge for her mom. And by our initial responses, we all seemed to struggle with figuring out what it was exactly. All but one person who identified it as an arrow immediately. Oh, damn. I thought that was the other girl's voice. Anyone know why? Because she planted it. Huh? Kari, you didn't. You didn't do this, did you? Guess again. She did do it, Olaf. The evidence speaks for itself. Kari's the one who tried to kill Uncle York. Wait, was she the one doing all this? Are She's the one that killed the stepmom? Kari, if what he's saying is true, then you know what you have to do. All right. Yes, it's true what the detective is saying. I set the whole thing up the day after he arrived. I can't believe it. I borrowed some money, Olaf. I guess I never told you about it. I couldn't pay it back, and the interest just wow. kept piling up. I thought I could take care of it without you knowing. Whenever we got our share from the will, I could just pay off all the debts with no problem. Your uncle was invited, and you all thought he was an imposter. I decided we couldn't afford to lose any money. Oh, to no. When I saw your father's crossbow, I remembered a trick my brother showed me once, so I decided I'd scare him into going away. And I set the crossbow on a timer. I meant for it to miss. I'd never want to kill anybody. Whoa. Likely story, Kari. Seems you've developed a habit out of killing lately. <gasps> Did you kill Marlena? No. Your inheritance? I didn't. I didn't. Calm kill down. <laughs> no, you're lying. 
It's the truth. I swear it. On your mother's life? <laughs> That's what? Dirty. I have to admit it. That was fucked. The girl's telling the truth. That was way, pretty fucked. It was someone else. Are you serious? Damn, that was actually fucked. Was it that man in disguise? Come on, Jimmy. My life is in your hands. The Yo, killer Corner's is none mom's other beautiful. Than... You're not alone, Jimmy. We're with you. Ah, oh, come on. Oh wait, we? You mean she's talking about like her the the her husband too? That's right. The person responsible for Mrs. Zanderbilt's death is the very same individual who hit her body in the well. I know. You were about to say it's that creepy sideshow freak, right? No. The one that's been running around in disguise. Do imagine that's rich. The one <gasps> most likely my estranged uncle bent on getting That's revenge. Booker. <gasps> He probably copied the way mom died, like some kind of deranged psychopath. That's why the mustache killer. looked familiar. No, I've decided that guy's a private eye, possibly hired to entertain speculation around your uncle's Bruh. questionable identity. Well, if that guy is just a private eye, then who's the you. real killer detective? You're not suggesting that, was a little bit that. Too that the cult aggressive. was in this room? That's right. One of the people you. standing before you is the killer. <gasps> They've been with us yep. the whole time. Hey, Since the beginning. Listening? She called us from the Zalewski Hotel at 9 p.m. That's all the way across town, you knucklehead. Boy, Mangum, right when you were getting your act together, you went right back to brain dead. We've already established you need to clear at least an hour away to make that kind of drive. All you people must have yeah. blinders on. Consider this. Your stepmother makes her first call from the party a little past eight. She leaves the hotel right after that. Sometime after nine, she parks her car in the woods around back of the house. It's at that point that she makes the second phone call from the car, playing the tape with all the party sounds in the uh -huh. car stereo. That way, Heidi would think she was still oh. there, giving her the perfect oh. alibi. But there's something about it that just doesn't make sense. Why would the victim of a murder case need to fake an alibi? Because on this particular night, Predator became prey. Oh. What? what do you mean by Predator? <laughs> Your stepmother would be alive right now if it weren't for the plans she herself devised. Uh, that's the just like a bird of prey fetching a snake, but this time the that was the evil um look she had. A murderer? The incredible twist of irony is the clever alibi she so meticulously crafted would have been an almost perfect alibi, only not for her. It would seem to me that a good reason for a murderer to wear a raincoat on a clear night is to guard against blood stains getting wow. on your clothes, affording you a clean this getaway. Bitch. She had the camellia blossom in her pocket all along because she intended to plant it at the crime scene, either to make it seem like it was related to a 15-year-old mystery, or as Olaf says, to be some kind of deranged psychopathic wow. symbol. She dropped the tape of the firewood, intending to retrieve it later. Maybe she didn't want to leave it on her because she thought it might fall out of her pocket. It'd be pretty messy if she had a scuffle and couldn't find it afterwards. That kind of unwanted evidence could be your ticket to jail. She mentioned that she could take a bath when she got home. She could then retrieve and destroy the tape under the cover of warming up the water. The crime scene was probably either the bathhouse or just outside the bathhouse, which is a pretty good spot oh. if you think about it. You can wash off all the blood after you've it finished. You're telling us all this stuff, but who did it, Mangum? Who was Marlena trying to murder? Bath time is a good time to catch the person alone, and her victim bathes on schedule every day. That thread's a little sketchy on premise alone, but if you consider other details, the picture gets clearer. Uncle Yorkham killed Marlena. <gasps> Wait, what? Uncle Yorkham? Yes. Her. Not so. Uncle Yorkham is experienced with... He's getting arrested. I don't like him. ...pretty high level. <laughs> If I Bitch. remember, isn't there a maneuver wherein an oncoming knife can be turned? I, upon I didn't think it was in there. That would explain a self-inflicted <gasps> knife wound with the fingerprints Whoa. facing out. And then there's the question of motive. Kari demonstrated the same motive, only without. She messed with the rock. <laughs> oh, if dude. Yorkham killed her in self-defense. Why would he be so secretive about it? Why would he hide the body? Because he received not one. But two threatening letters that were anonymously sent to him in Brazil. Like suddenly, I wanted to see the faces of the idiots who sent these letters. I think that statement clearly spells out that he's expecting multiple attackers. There's some support for that, too. He probably got two letters, which would make one from Marlena and one from Kari. What? There are a couple of advantages to what he chose to do next with Marlena's body. A. It's a warning to person number two. B. He's not a true murderer. He wants the body to be found. 
His only crime is obstruction of justice. Wait, what? You're still wet behind the ears. Uh, uh, hey! Who oh you shit, Booker! Yo, he's a. Hey, that was a cool ass entrance. Our best book. Yo, come on. I'm gonna listen to the will on tape. It'll I'm gonna be. Everything. I'm gonna look mad stupid if it's not him. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. The beneficiaries of my estate are the following six family members: my wife Marlena, my daughter Heidi, and her husband Herman McVall, my son Olaf Zanderbilt, and his wife Kari, and lastly. Carlos. But Carlos, but he cheated on. How did you? He cheated on his wife. My estate shall be divided equally among the surviving members of this group. He left money to Uncle Yorkham's bodyguard, but not to Uncle Yorkham nah, himself. Nah, it's because he cheated on his wife. You were right that the man before you was not Uncle Yorkham. He passed away long ago. This man's not a relative. He's Carlos's bodyguard. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that other guy, the big guy, didn't know shit. Carlos's the son born to the real Uncle Yorkham and his Brazilian wife, Adriana. Him? A cousin? But detective, where may I ask, did you get all this information? Sorry, I'm not a private detective. Oh, yeah, it's told you. Booker Kudo. Dad? <laughs> what are you doing here? What in the world <laughs> are you doing here, Booker? Hmm. Well, I have my yeah. reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kudo, That's cute. what makes you so sure this isn't really our uncle? He's left-handed, and he has a scar on his leg just like Yorkham. Yes, well, there are a lot of left-handed people in the world, Herman. And it would only make sense that the writing samples would look similar in comparison. They were written by... Conan's dad looks like a, <laughs> like a badass. Uncle Yorkham and this old man had been partners in running a farm together in Brazil for many years. But about a decade ago, a tornado ripped through the farm. The old man injured his leg and your uncle lost his left arm. Since that day, this old man handled all of your uncle's correspondence for him. And that included writing his letter. Oh, that makes sense. Carlos is a beneficiary because your father was grief-stricken for Yorkham, who died from complications of pneumonia. And, of course, prior to that, the tornado and all the damage... Oh, so he didn't cheat on his wife. I've been in the storehouse for the last few days. Found these letters in there, hidden among some boxes. But why did you pretend you were our uncle? Were you trying to cheat us? If the estranged relative was a target, then the bodyguard taking his place alleviates the danger for Carlos. Someone willing to kill one relative would likely kill another. So the old man would leave Carlos in the Bro, Carlos, can you only say something, bro? Carlos would be safer within a group than he would be I understand there. Spanish. And why would he dump the body in the well if it were in self-defense? Not to send a warning to the other potential killer, but to accomplish two other things. First, he didn't want to give up their true identities until both threats were eliminated. If he were to reveal himself at that point, he would be abandoning his job before it was completed. Secondly, he didn't want to involve the police at this point, as that would surely reveal who he and Carlos really were. And even worse, it would leave Carlos alone at the house with another threat still but... at large. <sighs> The old man made the body easy to find, not just because he didn't want to kill her in the first place, but because he wanted to test the detective, and they put a rookie on the job. So instead of going to the police, the old man wisely decided to take his chances and say nothing until the will was read. Huh? That's crazy! Wow. What do you think? Have I made Very any mistakes? Very elaborate. Does that about pin it all down, old man? No, I'd say you've got it all correct. Not one to Wow, thing. that's... If you want to turn yourself in now, I can refer you to a fantastic investigator. He's my friend, and he'll take care of you. Thank you, Mr. Kudo. I think I'll take whatever you wait, give me. Wait, what? I'm confused. Wait, are they... Wh what? Inspector McGuire arrived three hours later. The old man and Kari Zanderbilt were hauled off to the police station. Divided by a language barrier... Carlos seemed disappointed as the car left. Bro, let, let me be a translator. When father told Carlos in Portuguese that he would return soon, Carlos seemed as happy Never as mind. a child. Though, not as happy as he seemed to get to know his new family. I don't family, know Portuguese. And not as happy as he would later be when he learned that he had inherited enough money to repair the farm completely. Finally, the long night was over. What? 
Wait, I'm confused. So wait, the old guy is coming back? He's not getting arrested because he killed that girl? What? You mean you were Wait, is it because of self-defense? That's right. Dr. Agasa gave me a little receiver that allows me to pick up all the sound from your bow tie transmitter. I think that I'll put that in the next one. What? Right. <laughs> uh, for the record, you do realize if I had found those letters, I'd have been able to figure it out this <laughs> is easy. Yep. But I didn't need the letters to figure it out. Can you say the same about yourself? Uh, but how, Dad? A scar on his leg. A left-handed first baseman would cover the base with his left leg. But that man's scar was on his right leg. I got suspicious, so I figure I'm already in the storehouse. I may as well check into this. I started searching, and that's when the letters confirmed it. You need to polish up those observation <laughs> skills if you're going to make this <laughs> yeah. business. Do you hear what's coming out of your mouth? You say this business is <laughs> not included. You're not a detective. I, on the other hand, got enough experience to be considered a serious detective. In your own words, you're just a novelist. <laughs> I'm a hard-working, proven investigator. Vivian. Hmm? We're going home. Whoa. Well, I hope you like your spot on the couch, Mr. We're going home. She, uh, I think she likes that. The aggressiveness. That... Come on, Jimmy Kudo, get the let out. Or you can stay here if you prefer. What? No Yo, way. Conan's dad's a smooth I'm operator. Heading home. I just hope we don't hit too many bumps along the way. At least he's not gonna be like inside her boobs again. Damn, that was a that was a good one. That was um that was a long one, <laughs> but that was good though. Oh wait, hold up. There's a preview. I got y'all. Hold up. Right here. We'll miss you, Jimmy. Say hello to Rachel for us. About Rachel, she's still suspicious, Jimmy, so be careful. I can't place my finger on it, but something about her smile was odd that night. Yeah, careful. When it comes to women, heed the warning signs, Jimmy. Wait, so she... Since when did you become the expert? <laughs> we love you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know they're gonna... Crazy kids. They're gonna bang, like, really hard. Like... <laughs> <I'm back>. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Agatha told me everything. Uh, everything? I wish. If you're going to spend the night somewhere. You should let us know first. We were worried sick about you. I think Richard wasn't. Would it kill you to be <laughs> <come laughs> <up laughs> You have no idea what it's like to worry about someone day and night. Maybe, she, maybe, maybe he did. I'm sorry. One of these days, I'll figure out what I'm apologizing for. <laughs> May, wait, maybe Richard did. Maybe he did, he, he was acting like that because you know uh, he was like you know it's cool. Let, 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 let me um let Rachel show my emotions and stuff. But yeah, um, uh, great you know great four episodes. Um, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I need I should have like uh, uh what is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I like I should have jogged my memory because the first part. It's a little hazy, I guess, cause, <laughs> cause this migrant like made me lose memories, <laughs> cause like yo that like it was horrible honestly, and and like I said, there's other stuff going on too. But um, but sorry that it took a few days. You know, um, I I, I stopped. You know, I yes, I I didn't do anything. I didn't record anything. Wait, did I record anything? That, no, yeah, yes, I didn't record anything. So I, it. Like, I think this is the first time, that, like, in a day, like, one day I didn't do anything, record, I didn't record anything, and, like, you don't understand, I feel so horrible, I feel like shit, because, like, I love, um, putting these videos out for you guys, like, every day, and, um, but, yeah, so, I got y'all, don't worry, um, uh, we're back with Conan every day, um, and, uh, it's, uh, smash that like button if you want me to... You know the next thing we I do is the movie. All right, like I know I know you guys could smash it. All right, and it shows so much support and it motivates me and and it does heal my brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like seeing you guys like like it and commenting like it's the best. And I'm sorry I was a little off these two episodes. You know I just gotta get back on the groove. You know like I feel kind of weird um recording. You know and um reacting to the episode. Cause like I know it's literally just been like a day, but like I don't know. It's just, I guess I was so used to doing it every day. And I don't know. I, I felt off. But um. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna stop talking and boring you. 
um, I just want to thank you, every single one of you. Thank you so much. Y'all the best. And also, um, y'all, y'all should check out like my my like newest uploads. You know, like here and there if you want, cause like some people, I know a lot of people I heard like you know don't see my uh, my other uploads. Just in case you never know, there might be something that you might like. And yeah, so I love you guys. Till next time, y'all the best.